Dr Stephen Gundry has recently released a book called The Plant Paradox, The Hidden Dangers in Healthy Foods That Cause Disease and Weight Gain, in which he claims that lectins, which are found in many plant foods such as beans, grains, nuts, seeds, tomatoes, peppers, etc., are responsible for autoimmune disorders, diabetes, leaky gut syndrome, heart disease and neurodegenerative diseases. Dr. Joel Furman has written what I believe is a response to this book. I highly recommend going over to drfurman.com and reading this article in full. The link is in the description below. In it, Dr. Furman says, A new book alleges that beans, nuts, tomatoes, eggplant, peppers and other specific plant foods are harmful to our health because of mysterious proteins called lectins. The truth is the scientific evidence does not support the view that lectins are harmful to our health. It is acceptable to have a theory, but this idea about lectins being disease-causing and that people need to avoid beans, vegetables and nuts in order to get healthy and lose weight has been thoroughly disproven by the thousands of studies documenting the health and longevity benefits of these foods. The most recent book warning against lectins is full of twisted and incorrect information that will further confuse and harm the public, who are already eating an insufficient amount of plant foods. In a previous video, Dr Garth Davis discussed lectins and whether or not we should be giving up beans, nuts and seeds. Do make sure to check out that video as he addresses a lot of the concerns people have over lectins. To see that video, you can click the link above. So what actually are lectins? Well, lectins are proteins that bind carbohydrate. They're found in microorganisms, plants and animals. There are lots of different lectins which have different functions because they bind to different carbohydrates. In plants, lectins are thought to be plant defense proteins to protect against insects and pathogens, which are similar to the way other phytochemicals such as flavonoids work. Plant lectins bind carbohydrates during digestion, which can actually be a good thing as this can slow their breakdown, which then reduces the glycemic effects of the food. In the article, Dr. Furman goes on to say, You may hear a claim that lectins disrupt digestion, but this is misleading. This action of lectins is most likely a contributing factor to the pro-weight loss and anti-diabetes effects of beans and other plant foods. There's also been quite a lot of research looking at lectins and cancer. In this study, a lectin found in mushrooms has been found to inhibit proliferation of cancer cells. Lectins from bananas, jackfruit, buckwheat and fava beans have also been found to offer powerful protection against cancer. Now, Dr. Furman does address what he calls special cases of sensitivity to certain lectins. And he states, bacterial infections, inflammatory bowel disease, colon cancer, or autoimmune illnesses may alter intestinal cells in a way that makes usually harmless food lectins problematic. However, carbohydrates from dietary fibre could potentially block or reduce these harms. It is likely there are individuals who should avoid a specific food because of their individual response to a lectin in that food. But this does not mean that lectins are harmful for the general population. I'm glad Dr. Furman addressed this, as I think it's really important that we don't ignore these cases where lectins cause problems for people. But in that video I mentioned earlier, where Dr. Garth Davis discusses lectins, I also went into depth on ways you can decrease the lectin content of certain plant foods if you find you are sensitive to lectins. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.